All right, so today we're gonna look at something a little different. Uh, still car stuff related, but just another little project. So, as many of you know, we uh, deal in uh, buying and selling a lot of parts. So part of that is a lot of time people pay more for parts that are nice and clean or repainted and refinished or whatever whatever the case may be. And a lot of people sandblast parts, a lot of people will dip parts, and we've been kind of looking at stuff like that, and we had a sandblaster, but it had issues with it. Um, so we thought, uh, you know, what are other ways we could do it? And I ended up talking to a guy, a friend of ours, and he said that he had a tumbler. So started kind of looking into that, and you know, they're multi-thousand dollar machines, a professional tumbler. So it was actually my dad's idea to make our own you know and this is just a cement mixer you know so you can get this any any uh you know major parts place or whatever uh tractor supply might even have them northern tool uh fleet farm menards harbor freight even a bunch of stuff like that so all we did was put different size uh like basically sand media in here uh there's some medium size and some or medium grit and then fine grit i believe blasting sand in here as well as some of these uh ceramics you can get those at harbor freight and some of this uh i forget what it's called but it's this little like pyramid uh media and all you do is it's an electric. You just hit that button and spins and put whatever in there that's rusty or painted or something that you want stripped down to bare metal and come back, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes, hour, hour and a half later and you get, uh, you get stuff like this. This has not been in there very long. Right now I'm working on a bunch of these uh, leaf spring shock plates. They're turning out real nice. And here's a couple examples I have here. Um, here's some some uh, rockers, iron that cleaned up really nice. Looks like new practically. Some stamped rockers that were all rusty. Now they're all looking like new again. Some stamped steel there. Springs we just did as a kind of sample test run. Cleaned them up really nice. Look like new. Um, even valves, you know, and this stuff was not run very long. Here's even this, uh, this, uh, fork here. So, and it does pretty good with, uh, bolts. Those threads cleaned up pretty nice. Um, and it just depends on what media you use as well. And you can put, you can put anything in here. You can just put a bunch of gravel in there too, if you wanted to, but that'll break down over time. And this, I imagine, would break down over time, too. So, and everything's a little different. I have not run very much aluminum through, just because I know it'll probably etch the aluminum a little bit. There's just a piece of steel here. There's a hood latch for, a, I believe, 70 Cornet. So, anyways, the only downside is, obviously, it uses electricity, but that's not that big of a deal for most scenarios um it is a little bit loud okay so if you're in a residential area you want to do something like this uh by all means definitely see if you can but it might be a little loud your neighbors might complain but you know it is what it is so everything has a drawback this one sound sound is the drawback so i'm going to start it up might get a little bit loud anybody using headphones heads up There. So there you can see it kind of tumbling and spinning and uh, kind of has a, as far as the part and stuff, has a very kind of random random action pattern, but uh, it definitely works pretty good. And I can have a lot more media, and the other thing is it is a little bit dusty. So keep that in mind as well if you're in a real clean area or something, just you got to do this outside. So, 
And there's other like baffles and stuff that would have been in here, but we took those out because we just didn't feel we needed them. Um, price, here's another thing, price. This cost me $300. This big, uh, big cement mixer. This is a 4.2 cubic feet, I believe it was. This is from Northern Tool, this cost me $300. You might be able to get a little bit better deal on the same size one, or you might be able to get a smaller one or a bigger one, depending on what you need to do. This is just not quite big enough to do valve covers effectively, but you can fit any like this brackets and stuff like that. And uh, it it works really good. Like there's a couple little spots there left, but that's that's pretty much ready to paint. So and that's the other thing is uh, it'll like on bumper brackets and stuff like that that kind of heavy steel it'll get a lot of it out pretty quick but kind of the last little bit of that kind of rust stain and deeper pitted stuff it'll take a while to get there but also at the same time you know if you use kind of a good rust paint it won't be an issue so it just depends on what you want to do but hopefully this helps somebody out make a decision um there's not a lot of not a lot of people using cement mixers out there apparently which what do, I, what do I need a $3,000 machine that'll do roughly the same amount of size parts when here I am 10% of the price, you know? So figure might pass the savings on to somebody else and give somebody else some information on this. And if you guys want to see stuff about this, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we're just going to go back to, you know, working on our cars and stuff. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about this kind of stuff in the comments. If you want to see more more parts related videos or if you want to see more more tumbling maybe you want to see a time lapse or something like that so let me know what you think in the comments and definitely consider liking subscribing all that other stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video